Hey, welcome to our devotionals in the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus 23, today verses 10 and 11 as we continue working our way through the book of Exodus. Here we read it. You shall sow your land for six years and gather in its yield. But on the seventh year, you shall let it rest and lie fallow so that the needy of your people may eat. And whatever they leave, the beast of the field may eat. You are to do the same with your vineyard and your olive grove. So as in other parts of the Bible, we have six periods of time and then a seventh. And they're in these sets of seven. We have it not only with the Sabbath, but here we have it in this business about six years of allowing the land to produce and then a year off. Isn't it interesting that God always has a way built into his system, his civilization, for how to provide for the poor people? In a fallen world, God provides for the poor people. There's always a year of fallow where people can come and eat, come on to the land and eat the things that are needful and get something. They might have to reach up and do some work themselves. You know, They might have to actually grab it and pluck it off the tree, take it off the vine. But there is that. And then the animals, too. In the sixth year, the field is fallow there, and the animals can come in and get what they need. So there's always something available. God is always providing for the poor people. There is also kind of a consistent valuation in the Bible, too. If you look at it from front to back, you'll see that people are first in the system of valuation. Animals are second, and plants are third. Okay, so all these things are valued. The trees are valued, but they're third in priority. Humans are first. So in the seventh year, we see here that the land lies fallow so the poor can come and glean it. They can come and gather what they need. The same goes for your vegetable garden, your olive trees, your, your vines. And see, here's an interesting piece. God is the real owner of the land. And so for six years, you work it. And in the seventh year, the fallow year, God works it. And in that year, he gives to the animals or to the poor. So God is the real ultimate owner of the land here not the individual. The individual takes it as a steward and owns it, but God has a built-in plan here to take care of the needs of all of his creatures. So never forget, God is the real owner of the land. You and I, we get to use it for a while. All right, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning.